Uh, my name is Sunil Agarwal. I'm a uh, final year medical student at the University of Washington. Uh, I'm a, a PhD researcher in cannabis, uh, cannabinoid uh, medicines, and uh, through the context of social science and geography, actually. From the perspective of, of, of patients, mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they should know that the American Medical Association is the largest group of doctors in the United States. Um, that's, and it's the oldest group of doctors. Um, I think maybe about 20% or a little less of doctors in America belong to this organization. And so they, have, they, have, they write policy. Uh, they advise Congress and the government on what things, the ways they think they, things should go. And they do reviews of, of issues. And one issue that they have been writing about and talking about for uh, uh, at least a couple decades is, is the question about cannabis. Or marijuana, you know, the, the term in law right now is marijuana, but cannabis, a scientific name. What, to what extent does it have medically useful properties, and and how can we best, um, you know, proceed with the, the the evidence that we have as far as policy? So for a long time, I mean, going back to the 30s, the AMA initially um, had come out strongly against the idea of removing cannabis from. Uh, Ready, ready access for doctors and patients, um, but the government uh, had other agendas, uh, and, and of course they got expert witnesses to come and testify that marijuana was uh, caused dogs to go insane and <clears throat> changed your personality structure and, and, and led to social breakdown, mixing of races, this kind of thing. The AMA was the only voice back in those days that said, uh, you guys have no scientific basis to make these claims, and there is a medical history of the use of this product, and we know that it's useful for things like uh, psychotherapy to help people remember forgotten memories. That was actually a testimony that, that the AMA gave to Congress that was helpful to, to remember lost memories. And they said that there's plenty of other future therapeutic uses that uh, we, we would want to develop, but we couldn't with this uh, new restriction.